All right, let's turn our attention to the weather. Of course, we were concerned about how much rain we'd get from Debbie and boy, some people. I think it's hysterical. The largest number is in Rainsburg, <laughs> but <laughs> here in town, we've got what an hour and 40 minutes before the parking lots open for tailgating, Dre. That's right, John, and you know a lot of us didn't see rain, especially in the Pittsburgh metro area and then points back off to the west. There's a chance that we may see a few scattered showers through the next hour or so, but after that, that cold front comes through and it will bring in some drier air, allowing skies to clear out. So for any evening plans headed out to the Steelers game or whatever else you have going on tonight should be a go as we work in some drier air. The showers that you see on radar right now are associated with that front. You can see they're pretty much up and down I-79 right now from Butler County south into parts of Allegheny County and Washington County. A few more out to the east moving out toward the Laurel Highlands. But these showers and this cold front are pushing Debbie out of our area. You can see it's currently located along the New York PA border right now lifting off to the north and you can see this is what Debbie left us last night west of I-79. Not much in the way of rain, but look at our eastern counties here. Radar estimating totals anywhere between one and over four inches with the highest totals coming in just south of Bedford. So was Debbie's rainfall enough to erase our short term drought, our short term deficit? And the answer to that is no. While we did have some beneficial rains, there's still several areas that are running anywhere between three and five inches below average from the beginning of June. So while Debbie's rainfall did kind of cut in at the drought in our southeastern counties for places like Westmoreland, uh, Fayette County and the Somerset County, you're still going to need another two to three inches to erase the deficit that is currently in place. No rainfall again af after we move past the 4 to 5 p.m. hour. That front pushes off to the east, allowing skies to clear out. Our temperatures will work their way back to the upper 70s and low to mid 80s. It's a mostly clear and comfortable night as temperatures drop back into the upper 50s and lower 60s, and that will transpire into a very nice Saturday. Westerly winds promoting that dry air will work our way back into the mid and upper 70s with maybe a few clouds up north closer toward I-80. Another comfortable night Saturday night into Sunday morning with more of us dropping into the 50s by that point under mostly clear skies and then Sunday afternoon will work in a few clouds and there's a chance that we may see a lake effect shower in our far northern counties but the rest of us should see mostly cloud or mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and very comfortable conditions. Not much rain on the way over the next couple of days. We'll be watching a weak system come through Monday night into Tuesday with perhaps a small chance of rain dry for the middle of next week and then our next chance chance of rain really won't move in until after we get past the seven day forecast period. So enjoy the next couple of days with very comfortable days and overnight highs in the upper 70s, lows in the upper 50s to near 60. Partly cloudy skies coming up Sunday and Monday. Our next week system will bring a few showers Monday at night and the Tuesday. And then after that, just comfortable conditions lasting until the end of next week.